Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of All About Trucking. And today, today is a good day. The reason why is because, yep, got my visor in. That's just part of it. The other part is in the truck. I gotta put it together and then put it on the truck. Um, I got it yesterday. Uh, like I said, it came with stainless steel. I painted it white, the color is the truck. Uh, I did three coats of primer and about three, four coats of white paint. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, we're going to get to this video show you guys how to install this stuff. Alright guys, I'm on top of the engine here. The only way I can get up here to, to do anything. First thing first, you want to take all your lights out because this is how you're gonna access the boat behind the uh, lights to get the visor. As you can see, I took the first one off here and uh, you got a boat behind that one. You got a boat behind this one in the uh, front here, well, in the middle here, and the unknown end. And as you can see, uh, I think you can see that boat. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a boat back there. You gotta get in to remove it. So uh, I'm gonna get in there and remove that boat and cut y'all back on. What's going on? Taking all the lights out just so I can have all that done. Take the uh, screws out of the lights. You're gonna need a, a T20 star star bit. That's what you're gonna need to take the screws out of the uh, lights. A T20 star bit. Once you get all those screws out, then you can see. These lights are kind of stuck on pretty good, so. And the reason why you have to uh, take all the lights out is because they are all plugged in together. And you gotta unhook those so you can uh, hook the uh, other lights in that came with your visor. That's if you got any lights with your visor. I got lights with mine because I just like the style of it.
got one out. <clears throat> Took long enough. These lights, the uh, uh, plug-in harness, pretty tough. I'll tell you that. see me now got all the lights out now i'm gonna go back and take the uh, bolts out so i can get these bars off uh you're gonna need a 17 millimeter deep socket um put an extension on it of course and i got a impact drill so it works for me so i'm gonna go through and get all the bolts out of here Uh, guys, make sure that make sure you uh, don't drop those bolts because I think you will. In the instructions, I think it said that I had to reuse those to uh, connect the new visor. I think. back and double check once I get down but first off I gotta there we go all right folks so I got the visor mounted well I got it put together so now what I'm about to do is get up here and uh mount it to the truck and uh go through and hook up the lights to it and that'll be it so stay tuned all right guys i went on ahead and finished it up everything is done lights are working properly and to me man i like it uh it really brings the truck on and i know that i really do know that um so, let me show you what I got. You guys tell me what y'all think.
looks pretty mean. Got the clear lens in it. Kind of hard to see the lights on. It's make it see. Oh yeah, that's what it looked like. If you guys can see in there, it's real simple and easy, man. It's not that hard. Uh, like I said, though, this light here on the end, that middle light and the one on the end on that side you want to put those in last after you put the bolts in uh, once you put the bolts in then you can install those it also comes with a wire harness um you just run the wire harness inside the visor and it comes out on this end in the middle where the three in the middle and the one on the end down there uh, uh, you don't have no light, no uh, wire harness showing, nothing showing. Everything is inside the visor. And uh, yeah, once you put it on, that's pretty much all she wrote, man. It's easy. So, uh, yeah. You guys let me know what y'all think. Give y'all one more shot at it. Like I said, everything that come in the uh, package with this, you know, you get the visor, of course, it's gonna be separated. Well, if you get the 15 inch uh, visor from uh, Big Red Chrome Shop, is where I got it from. Uh, I think with, after shipping and taxes, it was about $800, not much. Well, that's a lot, but it's actually not too bad for a 15 inch versus 12 and a, uh, 12 and a half. They have, I think they they run for like maybe like 400, and that's a 12 and a half. So, um, so you also get the chrome light bezels that go around, as you can see. Um, once you mount the visor up there, you, you know you're pretty much almost done, man. You you know just uh, run your wire run your harness before you mount it so you won't have a lot of hassle going on up there and uh once you mount it like i said you plug in your lights and make sure you know make sure you turn the lights on and then plug in your lights you don't want to cross the wires or anything like that so um once you get that done pretty much ball game man just clean it up um I like it, man. I really do. Man. I really like it, man. So, y'all let me know what y'all think below in the comments, man. Uh, to be honest, I was going to take it to my guys and let them install it because I didn't think I had, you know, the tools to do it. But once I got it, I, and I looked at it, I was like, man, this, this is a breeze. Seriously. <laughs> so, that just saved me, I don't know, maybe three, four hundred, five hundred dollars you know, just from labor, uh, installation fee, or whatever they charge, you know? So, try to do it yourself, guys. I mean, it's not it's not hard, really. It's not hard. Um, so, I'm gonna end the video right here, man. Uh, got more stuff on the way. I still got one more big surprise for y'all. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited about that, man. I I, I really am. I, I can't wait. 
um, it's starting to warm up pretty good where I live at. So here in Alabama, so uh, all this week the weather was, has been in the 70s. Next week supposed to be high 60s, mid 70s. Um, I may start working on the floor, man. I may start. I may start working on the floor this week. Um, since I have time, I think I think that's gonna be the next thing I do before this big project gets here. So, if you guys want to see me do the floor in this Pro Star? Stay tuned, man. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I don't care about making anything from this YouTube channel, man. I just want everybody to see how to do things and. Maybe you can do it your way, but get an idea of how it goes, you know. But subscribe, man. If you like this video, like it. And uh, y'all keep trucking and stay safe. Man.